I didn't need to look at the script. I just said yes. Salburn was such a mind trip, but I have to say your facial expressions uh, convey so much at every moment that you're on screen. I think every time uh, the audience was cracking up. Uh, can you talk about... I, know, uh, I saw it last night. Everyone was laughing. I just, yeah. I didn't need to do that much. Can you talk about, could, like, you know, expressing your whole character with your face? Because you have so few lines. I know, because so few lines. It's just <laughs> a challenge. It never puts me off, actually. Um, I, I said to uh, I was saying earlier that um, my friend says that she thinks films went down when the talkies were invented. It was better before. So I, I hold on to that. I love that. Uh, what was it like working with Emerald Fennel as a collaborator? I, am I, I imagine her mind is a mastermind. Uh, what's it like to you? Well, I, f I agree, she's a mastermind um, and a kind mastermind and a generous mastermind and a spontaneous mastermind. Um, I can't tell you how much I admire her. We all did and do. Um, I saw her first film and thought, what what on earth could I do to ever meet this woman? And then quite soon after that, I was asked to do Saltburn. I couldn't believe it. I didn't need to look at the script. I just said yes. Um, of course. Um, and uh, uh, she's wonderful. I can't praise her highly enough. The articulation of that brain is phenomenal. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, what would you say, without spoiling the many twists and turns of the labyrinth that is Saltburn, uh, is Duncan's first impression of Oliver and how does that evolve? Oh, uh, Duncan, this is a very interesting question. Duncan is immediately aware that there's something wrong with this boy immediately from the minute those doors open he doesn't know what it is but something is off and he's the only person in the entire film that does uh, and if fully no without really knowing because as emerald said to me if he really knew he'd kill him kill him mm -hmm. so, um um because he loves his family so much but he knows there's something wrong and he's from a rough part of life He's not from privilege, mm -hmm. and he's developed the skin to see uh, a wrong him. And the other, the family have not. They've been too coddled and too privileged and too um, too protected from life to to spot anything. And she has a brilliant line later in the film. I can't remember whose line it is. Uh, Barry's line. Um, you like sleeping dogs lying in the sun, belly up. Near the end of the movie, Oliver asks about Duncan, but I don't think I don't think that we really get to see that much of you after that point. Oh, no, the ending changed. Um, no, we don't. Um, it's the first thing he said is Duncan's still there because mm -hmm. it must be if Duncan's not there, it's not Saltburn anymore. Right, he right. Is, he's like a gargoyle of one of those pillars on the courtyard. Um, he just is the place more than anybody. I mean, think he genuinely loves the place. Um, as much as he loves the family. And he does, he has grown to really love these children, particularly. Mm -hmm. So when Jacob's character dies, he's devastated. Yeah, that makes yeah. it so sad. Well, poor Duncan. Um, I have to say, though, you are also in Napoleon. So you're just having like an amazing film seen? here. Uh, no, yeah. Seen. So like, what has this experience been like for you? Like you're getting, I mean, all the awards coming your way. Somebody called it the Renaissance. <laughs> yes, I love that. I, I liked. I'm trying to put that around. I know it was great, you know, Emerald Fennell and Ridley Scott, come on. Um, both wonderful roles. Um, I can't comment on Napoleon because I haven't seen it yet. I'm seeing it tomorrow night in London. We're we'll flying back to see it. But I had a lovely time doing both. Huge admirer of Joaquin. Um, we had a wonderful time together. Nearly everything I did was with him. Mm -hmm. uh, is it a good performance? I, I've got no idea. Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. I, I wouldn't tell you if it was bad, but I don't even have to lie. It was great. So <laughs> but thank you so much. Um, Saltburn, amazing. You, incredible. And I hope to see you in many more uh, films I next year. That. Yeah. Somebody said to me, what would I like to do now? And it's the same. Just yeah. go on working with great film directors. Nothing mm -hmm. makes me happier than that. Well, you're you're doing a great job. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Have you. a wonderful day. Thank Bye. you.